Okay, let's have a look at what's been going on around this lovely, delightful planet of ours. What's been going on? What's been said? Well, apparently, Pope Francis has told the Italian Mafia to repent, yeah. The Mafia is going to hell. They have to renounce their, quote, blood-stained money and blood-stained power. This is the leader of the Catholic Church, one of the most blood-stained, murderous institutions in the history of the world. An institution which has and does prey on the fears and hopes of the ignorant and the poor. With no hint of irony, the Pope tells the Mafia it has to change its ways. Right, next. Latin America, Venezuela. There's been a lot of demonstrations and unrest recently. Students have been protesting the leftist government led by Nicolas Maduro. People have, according to reports, been killed in clashes with the police and with supporters of the government. There's an interview on Al Jazeera with Congresswoman Maria Karina Machado, who's a protest leader, an outspoken opponent to the Venezuelan government. Clearly a courageous lady, loved by some, hated by others. Yeah, this interview, it's on Talk to Al Jazeera program, program called Maria Karina Machado, This is About Freedom. Check it out. Lots of violence in Venezuela, allegations of corruption and misuse of power. So yeah, big problems there. Do I really need to mention what's been going on in the Crimea? Unless you've been living under a rock, so to speak, you'll be aware of the general situation. Last I'd heard there was an airbase, Belbek that had been stormed by Russian troops, and the base is now under Russian control. Is Vladimir Putin bothered about fresh sanctions from the United States and the European Union? I'm not so sure he is. He clearly thinks that nationalists Neo-Nazis, Russophobes and anti-Semites are in charge in Kiev, the Ukrainian capital. President Putin addressed both houses of the Russian parliament at the Kremlin several days ago. You can read the full text of that speech on BBC's website. It does make for an interesting read. What's going on in the Middle East then? Israeli security forces killing Palestinians in the West Bank. Sectarian violence in northern Lebanon, which is linked to the horrific conflict in Syria, of course. What about Egypt? Former President Mohamed Morsi. Remember that guy? Well, apparently more than 1,200 of his supporters are facing a mass trial. Perhaps these trials have already begun, I'm not sure. The words mass and trial put together make me uneasy for some reason. I don't know. What about Asia? The situation in Bangkok seems to have calmed down. Protests going on for months, trying to get rid of the Prime Minister. Yeah. Apparently in Vietnam, there's been an ongoing crackdown against dissidents. Crackdowns and imprisonments are nothing new in communist countries, of course. Sad but true. 
And in Sri Lanka, there's been a video leaked of what is said to be soldiers torturing recruits, female recruits. An army spokesman said it was an unauthorised disciplinary measure. Yeah, so those were just a few things in the news which caught my eye. So, everything is right with the world. It's all rainbows and chocolate waterfalls as, as usual. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'll see you next time, folks. Take care of yourselves.